Hello, I'm Dorian Black, and this is Geeky Freaky. We're here at Escape Room LA to explore the newest trend in puzzle gaming. Escape Room LA started in December of last year, so we've been running now for about a month and a half. And uh, as you can see, the room is designed in the style of a 1940s detective office. Uh, participants need to help the detective solve a case and then find a key and escape from the room and they have an hour to accomplish all of that. I used to love playing adventure games on my PC, you know, 15 or 20 years ago when they all, when adventure games were really popular. And I love the detective kind of adventure games where you're going through solving this mystery, traveling, traveling around to all these different places. And that's when I kind of thought I wanted to be a detective's office. And 1940s just seemed perfect, especially because of this location and this building. As an avid fan of the mystery and noir genre, I could tell you this room is exactly the type of thing that gets my geek flag flying. The puzzles reminded me of the old Resident Evil games. And it's no wonder that this room requires a full 12 team operation to complete. Long story short, it ain't easy. I would say all types of people come in. There's groups of friends, there's like date nights that come in. So couples come and do it with other people that they've never met. Um, corporate groups, all types of people. Now, if you had to give anybody advice on how to actually get out of here, what would you say? Because clearly there is not a very high success rate for people to actually successfully beat this room. The surest way to get out of the room is to communicate and talk to each other. And that's what we advise each group before they get in here. And if they, as long as they talk to each other and tell people what they found and what they've solved, that'll be the fastest way to get out of here. So if you think Escape Room LA is right up your alley, it's $30 Wednesday through Friday and $32 on the weekends. Now, I know what you're thinking. $30 is a lot of money to throw down on an hour's worth of entertainment. But if you're into puzzles or have a fetish for film noir, you will not be disappointed. Now you must excuse me, but Gotham needs me. For more information on geek counterculture, check out our website at geekyfreaky.com.